to show you guys exactly on my maps what I've been fishing so it makes it a little bit easier for you um, to locate these bass that are in the in the grass um, in the fall and winter time so uh, here's we're on Lake Gunnersville so what I do is first of all the most important thing to do is to set your maps up go to Okay, so once you got your map in, I use a uh, C map. Um, this is reveal, I think, or uh, yeah, C, C map reveal. So what you're gonna do, the first thing you're gonna do is go to your chart options. This is on HGS. And then you're gonna go down to shading. And then this is how I have them set up is, uh, five foot. This is real important. Five foot and less is gonna be red. Five foot to 12 foot is gonna be orange. 12 foot to 20 foot is gonna be yellow. 20 foot to 30 foot is gonna be white and 30 to 60 is blue. Now for this shallow stuff, the more important one are these three, okay? So now, now that you have that set up, what I wanna show you is um, what I'm looking for on the lake. So that's gonna come in handy too, having all that stuff set up that way because you're not gonna be able to find this stuff the same way if not. Um, so, all right, so let's go to, let's just say, I don't know, let's pick all reds. Okay, so the first thing I'm looking for on the map are these little flowing incoming creeks. See this creek right here? Another creek, another creek. Another creek, another creek, anywhere water flows in. Now, once I see that water flowing in, what I'm gonna look for is if it's all red in the back, which means it's five foot, I don't, I'm not even wasting my time with anything out in here, okay? What I really want is where that yellow, which is deep water, is super close by to where that water comes in. So this would be a perfect example right here. All right, where this creek comes in, you can see that there's a big flat out in front and there's deep water nearby. So that grass will mat up along here. So you need grass too. So if there's not grass there, then it does you no good. But so you have to check these to find which ones have grass. Then once, so say this is the flat that I'm gonna fish that has matted grass on it. What I wanna do is I'm gonna look for those points in the grass, okay? So that's the red, our five foot mark, right? See how there's a little point right there? And then there's one deeper right there, but you want them really shallow. You, you can even get them up at this shallow. Any way that where there's a point where that water comes in um, is perfect. And that's kind of what I've been targeting. This is even better. Like see how close by this yellow comes? So that's a bluff right there. How close that yellow comes to that red and then water coming in and then zoom in a little bit, which when you're on the front, it'll there's a little point right here. That one might not be as good. Um, let me find another one just so you guys get a good example of what I'm talking about. All right, so let's find another creek that comes in. All right, here's a creek coming in, but it's a lot of red back there. So if I were gonna fish back here, I would choose these areas that are closest to this yellow. So like this point right here, if there's grass on that, I'm gonna fish that. This little nipple right here, it's close to yellow, I'm gonna fish that. This one I'm definitely gonna fish. Um, and then once I get, I'll just see how far back I can get where that water comes in. I'll see how far on the flat I can get before I stop getting bit. But normally it's gonna be around where this water comes in. This one's, like perfect right here water comes in you got a little point back here right here you got a big point right here which i would fish all that and it's that close to deep water so that's where that map comes in handy is that having your deep water access and then once you get up on the front of the boat you can see where your little points are in the on the flats where you're going to be targeting those bass in the grass here's another one right here so if you set your color map up the same way as I am, the first thing that you're gonna do, like I said, is just go, and this will work on any lake. Find where your water comes in. This is specifically for the fall. Find where your water comes in, where there's close uh, access to deep water, and then find your points up on the flats, and that should help you um, locate and catch all, you know, 
big bass. Usually you'll catch other ones that aren't near the deeper water, but they're not going to be as big as the ones that are closest to deep water. So that's exactly how I target fish in the fall and should make it pretty simple. Skinny, you need to get fat, huh? Not a giant, but a fatty. you guys back here, eh? Get up in here, boy. 